Um, let me just go here and do this. Let me go to my bag or my Pokemon and switch out. Um, let's go ahead and put. Um, let's switch Tugsu out front. I just think that I mean, I just want to say I'm even using a lot of Gen Five Pokemon on this team. Nope, did not mean to use Stoutland. It's the other button for Lapras. I already commented on this. I'm going to be I'm playing through Black and White right now for the first time for a video. And um, it's cool using Gen 5 Pokemon in this game. Can I get an encounter, please? Please. There we go. What is this going to be? Oh my gosh, it's a Yveltal. Oh Hey, what's up YouTube? Granji Games here, and welcome to episode 11 of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. Today we're going to be kicking it off ex like just exactly as we pop in with a team recap. We're going in the later the layer Auga. The order of the layout. First up we have Mordo, the shiny, the custom shiny Hoopa with the chlorophyll ability with the moves Astonish, Psybeam, Flying Press and Seed Bomb. Then we have Fancy the Executor with the moves Seed Bomb, Grassy Terrain, Hypnosis, and Shy Psy Shock with the Victory Star ability. Then we have Toaster, our Marsh Stomp with the Skill Link ability with the Quick Claw for an item. Excuse me. With the moves Tackle, Growl, Water Gun, and Mud Bomb. We have Tux Tugsu, the Archaeops with the Reckless ability with the Sharp Beak with the moves Quick Attack, Pluck, Ancient Power, and Rock Throw. Then we have Zero, the Whirlipede with the moves Roll Out, Poison Tail, Protect, and Pursuit with the Disguise ability. And I actually took off Cosmog for our Sylveon. And the reason being, let me make sure that the graphics are correct because I think I messed it up again. What are we rocking out with for graphics? Are these the times four or times nine? We are on times four native. We are good with the graphics. I put Trey on here just because Trey is one level away from learning a fairy type move, which is a really, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a type that we don't really have a lot of. I mean, we only have one fairy type Pokemon. And we don't have really any other fairy type Pokemon like at our disposal disposal at the moment. Um, but we are going to go ahead and change that today. Today we're going to go back down to the farm. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on Tauros and get back down there and then head over to the Pseudo Wudo. And I think we should be. Oh, OK, we're going to get into this trainer battle with this sir right here. We're challenged by Backpacker Gerald. Weavile, so it is a dark and ice type. Uh, what else? I guess a flying press, but because like we don't have a fairy type move yet, but that would be super effective if we had one. So let's just go ahead and go out to our a rollout might kill, but I'm thinking that the best case scenario is going out to Mordo, but also I don't know if that's a good idea. I guess we could just try. We are going to be quite a bit higher than it. Um, but question of the day today, I guess since we are uh, talking about getting Sylveon up, what is your favorite fairy type Pokemon? Wow, I can't speak today and I don't know what's going on. Uh, my favorite uh, fairy type Pokemon actually is Sylveon. Okay, you're going to go for faint attack, which I forgot is four times. Times effective. I cannot believe we just lost our custom shiny Hoopa. That was the first death of the Nuzlocke. Which could have easily been avoided if I wouldn't have been dumb. We've gone 11, 11, we've gone 11 episodes without a death. And because of me being stupid, I lost our custom shiny Hoopa to a Weavile. We're 
We're gonna put zero M on the team for now. I cannot believe I just did that. I just lost our shiny Hoopa. This isn't a different route as before, is it? No, that doesn't change. This down here, I believe, is a different route. I think this is Route 5 down here. So, I guess... Dulce and... Whatever her name is, are here. I, I'm, I'm upset. We just lost... Dulce and whatever her name is. What is she gonna talk? Zazi. Zosi. Okay, I guess we have to battle them. Yeah. I guess. I'm just really upset with myself that that happened. Because, I mean, obviously I could have easily just went into Archeops, but I was... I wasn't thinking that it was dark type. I was thinking that it was a just an ice type. Because I mean, I knew that it was a dark type in my brain, but then I just instantly was like, okay, well, I should be fine. It's an ice type. Float has intimidate, but this is a fairy type, and we don't have any steel type moves. Right, I guess we have we have poison tail with zero here. I know that we have two zeros, and it's really confusing. I need to make sure we're stocked up on pokeballs. Okay, you're gonna go for an X defense, and you have intimidate. So poison tail is gonna suck against you. You're gonna use Wish, which is gonna... I hate this flow at. I am so mad that I did that. Okay, I'm gonna have to speed up through this battle. Because it's this battle is gonna take forever otherwise. It just, I always said if a battle was gonna take a while, we're just gonna speed up through it. And I don't like speeding up through tons of episodes. Oh, a crit helped. We should take it out after this. Like, oh, you're gonna use... You see, a battle like this is something I would speed up through. I'm not really going to do that throughout the rest of the episode. Okay, so now you can't... I can't get a crit. Okay, Floet, I need you to die. So I cannot get a crit. Uh, you can, but I don't think a crit would even kill me at this range. We're good. Uh, do we have to fight Zossi or Zosi? I don't know how to pronounce her name. Okay, so I was looking at, you're probably wondering, why did you put Trey on the team over Cosmog? I was looking at our Pokemon and their abilities. Trey is learning Draining Kiss. Now we have something for the, those Dragon types that we might run into with Dragon Rage or anything. Now we can actually deal some good damage to them. Especially the fact of, okay, I'm, I'm about to sneeze, I think. And I'm sorry if I do. I might and I might not. I don't know yet. Now, truthfully, I'd be happy with another Psychic type or a good Fire type. Truthfully, a Fire type is what I'm needing right now. I could go for... If I had a Charizard right now, you don't know how happy I would be. Truthfully, no one knows how happy I would be if I got a Charizard right now. Though This is Route 6. Where is the grass here? Please let me get something good. Please be a Charizard. Please be a Charizard. Feromosa. I'm not going to catch this thing, but it's bug and fighting. Draining Kiss is super effective, but I don't think it's going to kill. Double kick. Yeah, that does nothing. We're probably going to end up killing it here, and I feel bad if I do, because this is our only encounter for a while. And I killed it. What else could we have gotten? I'm very upset with myself right now. Like... Nobody has a clue, truthfully. And I know you all are screaming at me that I lost Mordo. But what else could I have gotten here? And here's what I'm going to say. If a Pokemon dies in the arena, like the, the 1v1v1v1, a Braylon would have been sick. A grass and fighting type. I mean, I know that we have a grass type with our Volman Executor Fancy. But I still would have really enjoyed if we got Breloom. I probably would have moved some things around. And, or just straight up put Breloom on the team. You probably want to... Wait, did I, I did put 0M on the team. I was like, wait a second. Do I have a 6 member right now? A Trap Inch would have been so sick. Alright. Basically, some good stuff in this route. But nothing too good to the point of me being really upset. I mean, I'm still upset. 
that I lost that Pokemon being the Mordo. And I'm so upset that I didn't catch the Faramosa. But I think in the long end, I I'm still upset about Mordo. Don't get me wrong there. We got a death and that was no bueno. And here's Hapu and we're going to have to fight Team Skull in the Mudsdale here. And yes, I'll come to your aid. Now, the thing is with... Now, the thing is, I said I don't know if the death will count because it's different. Like, they can kill you easily, and there's four different targets that are... Or three different targets that are hitting you. I don't think that we'd lose a Pokemon, and I'm probably just going to end up sending in... I could just go ahead and sack something to get over that. And I don't want to, but I mean, if that if it comes down to it, like... Sandy Gas, uh, we should be able to take this out pretty... Holy freaking crap. That thing looks epic! Oh my gosh! I already know what our next playthrough is going to be. And I, I teased that it was going to be Pokemon Coliseum. I've, I've changed my mind tonight. Trust me, it is, it's not going to be that. I have a different game that's in mind that is going to... It's going to be sick. Trust me, it's going to be sick. But after that, what, like, I know that... Okay, Absorb. I know that it's four times effective, but it's Absorb. And it's level 17 and I'm level like 26, right? 25? I wasn't worried about that in the slightest, but that Sandy Gas is epic. I'm going to try to get to the... Oh, Mart's out randomized crap. I was going to say, if we go to the Superstore there, there's two encounters we possibly can get. Um, Drifloon. I wonder, can I go down to the, um, the beach now? I think I can. I might not be able to. I'm going to go down there first. I'm going to try to get as many encounters as I can this episode. The Battle Royale is... It's not fun. I don't like doing that. Um, let's hop on Tauros and see how far we can get. That's a trainer right there. Can I dodge you? Yes, I can. Oh, Ooh, I can get something back here because of Tauros. Is it a T? Oh, it's just an item. Rare candy. I, I, I mean, it's not just an item, but still. Let's go ahead and break these rocks. We already got an encounter in this route. Uh, which sucks that we didn't get to keep it, but... Oh, there's a stat one block blocking this route. What are you going to say? Sorry, I, I need to be able to get to the Grand Resort. I want to be able to go down to the beach and get encounters. I mean, we still get two encounters this episode. And we're going to run into her anyway. What are you going to do? Kill another one of our Pokemon? This is Aether Foundation music? Yes, it is. It's just going to be one of the ones that look like Ant-Man, right? No, it's going to be her who looks like an angry anime girl. <laughs> Tyrun. Okay, we can take this out with our Pokemon here, Trey. Uh, why did I have to... I lost Mordo, and that makes me super upset. Mordo had a great move set. And really, there was no reason it should have died. Okay, if I did miss the flying press, we were fine the first turn. If I wouldn't have missed that flying press, I guarantee we would have won that battle. And I guess I did have, I had some reason to go out to him, but I didn't think he was going to have faint attack. It was a very strong dark type move. And that just makes me sad that I just had to go through that. The battle royale is going to be super annoying. I wonder, can I skip it? I don't think you can. Royal Avenue. There's the Machamp. And all. I, I'm speeding up through this because, like, there's really no point. I, I think there's another rare candy somewhere around here in this plaza. Oh, I can't. I was thinking I was going to be able to go around the, the center plaza. How many Pokeballs do I have? That's what I'm... That's what I'm looking at right now. How many Pokeballs are we rocking out with? Um, it would be in here. So sort is X by, by type. 29, 17, 2, 1, 10. We're fine on Pokeballs and potions. I know that we stocked up a lot last episode. Who are we going to send out into this battle royale? This is going to be a tough decision because I don't want to send out Marsh Stomp. 
This is something I would speed up through. Wait, do I even have to? I don't have to at the moment. I can go catch more stuff. So let's do that. Let's catch a couple things. Do we want to fish or surf here? Route 7. There's the option for both. And there's just a magmar chilling. We can grab an encounter here, which in the sun sleep block last year, we got a Greninja. Or we got a Frogadier, actually. Please be something good. Please give me a good fire type. Give me a Charizard. That is a fire type, but you need a Dawnstone to evolve it. But Ghost and Fire is sick. I would love a Lampin. I kind of want to just chuck a Pokeball at it and hope for the best. Oh, Pokeballs are here. Let's let's just chuck a Great Ball at it and just hope it catches. You're going to burn us. But still, I love Lampin. What would not? I don't think a Draining Kiss would kill this because it's not... It's resistant. Fire Spin, a good fire move. I, I would love a fire type right now. You have no... I mean, I need a fire type. I've been talking about it the whole time. Every good team has a good water, fire, grass core. You have Confuse Ray. Fire Spin is really all I care about. Confuse Ray is never really going to be used. But I want this, and I want to name it Lamp. Just maybe. Or Chandelier. Should it be... If, is it, this is genderless, right? Or is this... Have gender? This is a male. I was going to name it Sia, because I'm going to swing off the Chandelier. You know, but... We're not going to name it C Sia then. Can I, can I just like catch this now? Yeah, I need to go out to something that resists fire moves. So that'd be toaster. Fire spin. I have healing items. Let's just use a super potion. Is this here 60 and my webcam had fallen. It happens a lot. I'm sorry. Um, Can I just go YMCA and catch this lit this lamp it? Oh, come on. Why? A, hey, come on. Yes, we caught the Lampin. Now, I really don't know what to name this, because I'm not going to name it Sia after Shanda. I would love to give this Lampin a nickname. I'm going to name this... Um, someone left a comment on the last episode. I just... Because I responded to, to it today, and I just forget the name. It's something... Oh, I don't remember the exact name. Let me look at it. Fruity Pebbles. We're going to name this Fruity. So, there you go, Fruity. The Lampin. This is going on the team. I would like to see Fruity's summary first to make sure it doesn't have a bad ability, which, I mean, I don't think it does. Rock Jump Cheek. Ooh. Nightshade. It's already got two stab moves. I'm... Cheek Pouch is a sick ability, too, because it can bring back the berry. I'm going to take 0M off the team. And who do I want to put in front? Because we have another encounter here uh, to the right of us. I believe I can I have access to this now. I should. And I think I want to do a surfing encounter because it'd be a lot easier. Um, let me just go here and do this. Let me go to my bag or my Pokemon and switch out. Um, let's go ahead and put Um, let's switch Tugsu out front. I just think that I mean, I just want to say I'm even using a lot of Gen 5 Pokemon on this team. Nope, did not mean to use Stoutland, it's the other button for Lapras. I already commented on this i'm going to be i'm playing through black and white right now for the first time for a video and um it's cool using gen 5 pokemon in this game can i get an encounter please please there we go what is this gonna be oh my gosh it's a yvelto Holy crap, that did a lot. It was a critical hit, but it also had a berry on it. So that's why it did so much. That was also a crit. I'm just gonna start chucking Pokeballs at this thing. I wanna chuck the Cherish Ball first, just, you know, who knows. That shook three times and I had no clue why. I did not touch, I did not touch the in, the catch rate there's i don't know how to on this game anyway i know you could randomize it but i didn't do that don't you dare kill my tug sue air slash has a high critical hit ratio i need to be careful okay calm down here i should super potion 
You're gonna heal up too. Okay. I don't want to go for a. Actually, now that your berry's gone, I think. What? Because it resists as well. We're gonna use roost again. Okay, I can go for another pluck. He does not seem to have oblivion wing yet. I need to be careful with using pluck because I if I get a crit, this thing's dead. So I'm gonna just go for quick attacks now. I'm gonna go for Snarl, which isn't gonna kill me. Um, let me just go here and use another super potion. He's probably gonna use Roost. Yeah. A Pokeball at this range isn't shaking, right? Wait, technically, would a dive ball work because I got it underwater or no? I guess it does work. I just caught a Yveltal. I don't even know what to replace for this, truthfully. It's going on the team. What do I name a Yveltal? What do I name a Yveltal? Is there more comments I can look at? Is there anybody who's... I've named a... I haven't named a Pokemon after you. Welcome to the Team Jambler. Kind of waiting for a Zigzagoon. But, welcome to the Team Jambler. I would love to add you to the party. I want to see your ability first. Please have a broken ability. Sand Rush. You're faster in sand. You don't... I mean, you have a stab dark type move, which is sick. Add to my party for sure. Who are we going to take off the team for this? I don't want to take off Tugsu. I don't want to take off Fruity. At the moment, I feel fancy. I'm going to take off fancy. Holy freaking crap. I need to heal up. That's for sure. What TMs do I have? Seed Bomb? You can learn Flying Crap. Here we go! Um, I want to get rid of Double Team for Flying Press. I think that's going to be sick because it's stabbed technically because it's got flying move. It's half flying. Holy crap. You can learn... You can actually learn quite a bit of moves. Uh, so I'm going to wait on that. Let's go here and let's just go... I have a Burn Heal. I'm glad I have that. And I'm just going to use some Super Potions because we got quite a bit. Just on Fruity, just in case we need... Um, you know what? I'm going to save this rare candy. But holy crap. Normally, I would end off the episode here, but I'm going to check this island real quick. I can't get past there. What else could we have gotten here? Not that I care. I'm happy we got a freaking Veltal. What do you have to offer? I just cannot believe that just happened. I was just wondering, I was like, hey, we fished for this. It was underwater. I mean, we were, in, so we were surfing. I don't know if that affected it at all or if that was just Pokeball odds. That is freaking crazy. What could we have gotten from fishing? Not that it would have mattered because, I mean, I doubt we need anything better than this. If we had a Greninja or a Charizard, I mean, that would have been sick. But we got a freaking Yveltal. And we got a Lampin, which, I mean, Ghost and Fire is sick. I just need to find a Dawnstone. I need to look because items aren't randomized. I got a shell bell. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. But I'm wondering where, where is the Dawnstone in this game? I know you get one, but I'm not going to evolve it just yet. But still, a Chandelure is going to be a great Pokemon. Think about this right now. Archeops, Chandelure. I'm just saying if we don't get another death, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to. But holy crap. Archeops. Veltal, Swampert, Sylveon, Scolipede, and Chandelure as a team. <laughs> I mean, okay, what would I do if I, I if I got a fire type? I mean, a better fire fire type, I'd probably take off Fruity. You know, just switch some of the things up. But holy crap, this is where we're gonna end off the episode. I am so I'm gonna edit this tonight. I mean, it's 9:40 p.m. I'm gonna just work on editing this tonight. 
thank you all so much so much for watching this crazy episode i'm gonna go ahead and save and the next episode we'll take on the battle royale and then we'll take on the fire trial and then next episode we'll be the episode after that which i don't know if you guys have gotten the light the light goal yet so if the water type mon the water mono episode doesn't happen then we'll definitely be using our evil tall a lot more um but yeah thank you all so much for watching i'm gonna go ahead and start editing this um have a great day peace Oh, 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 oh,